Hi students, this is Mrs. Alonzo and I'm going to be reading aloud to you your unit eight assessment. You may use your own calculator or the Desmos calculator that is linked here while taking the test. You also will need a notebook and a pen or pencil to um, write down your work. All right, let's begin. Question number one. The table represents the number of runs scored by several baseball teams during a season. So we have the teams listed over here on the left, and then we have their total number of runs scored on the right of the table. Which box plot correctly represents the data from this table? So you're going to select the box plot that correctly represents the data. And I'm going to give you a hint right now. The first thing that you're probably going to want to do is find the very upper end of the data and the very lower end of the data, as well as the median. And that will help you determine which box plot is correct. Okay, you can pause and do that work. Question number two. This table shows the number of minutes Carol and Anna walked each day for five days. So we have the days of the week, and then we have how far Carol walked, or I'm sorry, the number of minutes they walked. So Carol walked 60 minutes on Monday, and Anna walked 45 minutes on Monday. On Tuesday, Carol walked 30 minutes, Anna walked 35. Wednesday, Carol walked 20, and Anna walked 60. Thursday, Carol walked 70 minutes, and Anna walked 65. Then finally on Friday, Carol walked 45, and Anna walked 30. So you're going to want to look at what choices we have here. Carol's mean for the number of minutes that she walked is greater than Anna's mean. So keyword here is mean. We're gonna to wanna to try to find the mean of both sets of data. So right now I would find the mean of Carol's and I would find the mean of Anna's. Okay, the next answer choice says Anna's median for the number of minutes she walked is greater than her mean. Well, now we need to find the, me the mean or the median, I'm sorry. So find the median for this set of data and find the median for this set of data. Okay, next choice, Carol's mean for the number of minutes she walked is equal to her median. Anna's mean for the number of minutes she walked is equal to Carol's mean. You're going to select the one of these that is true after you have done the work. Question number three. The table shows the daily amount that Trevor spent on snacks. So we have the weeks over here on the left. And then we have the days of the week here. So on Monday, the first week, he spent 75 cents on snacks and so on. Which week did Trevor spend a mean amount of 85 cents per day on snacks? So here's your week. Week one, you're gonna wanna look across like this. And then week two, you're going to want to look across for your data set like this. Then week three. And then week four. So calculate the mean for it for each week and find out which one was 85 cents per day. Question number four. A list of numbers is shown. Seven, 14, 15, nine, 11, 14, 11, 10, 
and 17. What is the mean of the list of numbers? Pause and do the work. Question number five. A researcher was interested in how much vitamin C adults had in their daily diets. The researcher surveyed 100 random adults. She made a box plot based on the amounts of vitamin C in the diets of the 100 adults. So here's our box plot. There was 100 adults surveyed, and it represents the milligrams of vitamin C. All right, so take a look at your data. Then here's the lower end, the upper end. What percent of those in the survey get at least 90 milligrams of vitamin C? So what percent in the survey get at least 90 milligrams of vitamin C? Between 50 and 75? less than 25%, between 25% and 50%, or more than 75%. Go ahead and pause and do the work. Question number six. This dot plot shows the number of cans collected by the student council. So here's the number of cans collected. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. What is the mean of the data? What is the mean of the data? 5, 15, 16, or 20? Question number seven. Same graph, number of cans collected. Which of the following describes the shape of the data distribution? There is a gap from 15 to 30. It is symmetric. There is a peak at five. There is a cluster from five to 10. Question number eight. This histogram shows the prices for cameras. What is the cost of the greatest number of cameras? So here we have the frequency and then we have the price down here. So zero to 99, 100 to 199, 200 to 299, 300 to 399, and then 400 to 499. So what is the cost of the greatest number of cameras? Is it $400 to $499? $11? $100 $400 to $199? dollars or zero to $99. Question number nine. We have the same histogram here showing the price for cameras. Okay, so we have the price over here and then the number of cameras over here. How many cameras cost more than $299? Six, 14, eight, or 18? Question number 10. This box plot shows the number of days a single family home was for sale on the market. So we have home sales, days on the market. All right, so we have all the way from zero to 120 days. 
what are the third and first quartiles of the data? So what number would fall at the third and first quartile in this set of data? 120 and zero, 90 and 20, 40 and 20, 60 and zero. Remember we're looking for the first, I'm sorry, the third and the first in that order, the third and then the first. Question number 11. Same box plot here of the home sales days on the market. What percent of homes were on the market between 20 and 40 days? 25%, 100%, 75%, or 50%? Question number 12. The histogram shows the math quiz scores from a class. A score that is greater than or equal to 70 is passing. So take a look at your histogram down here. We have the grades down here. And then we have the number of students over here. So how many students passed the math quiz? Fourteen, six, ten, or eight? Question number 13. Which question is not a statistical question? How many years have you played sports? How many different athletic games do you attend in a week? How many hours do you spend practicing a sport in a week? How many soccer players can, be, can one team have on the field? Again, which one is not a statistical question? Question 14, is the mean always equal to a value in the data set? Yes or no? So again, is the mean always equal to a value in the data set? All right, question 15 is a bonus question. So it will add two points to your grade if you can get this one correct. Jamal scored 62, 75, 76, and 90 on four tests. What does he need to score on the fifth test in order to have a mean of exactly 80? All right, so here's his scores on four and we're missing the number for that fifth test, what would he have to score on that fifth test to get exactly an 80? And you could use guess and check here too. 97, 93, 100, or 80. Okay, good luck everybody. Go ahead and uh, look over your answers. Make sure you've answered every question to the best of your ability, and then you may go ahead and submit.